I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. I believe today's video takes us to Omaha, Nebraska, where we find a pair of dimwits who want to record the police, but they just don't know how to go about it, and they definitely can't listen to police directives. Oh, dearie me. So I'll sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! You have no jurisdiction on my property over me. And there's no law that says the distance from a traffic stop. Girls, don't answer any questions. Just tell them to give you the ticket and go away. For real. You're trying to give me unlawful directives on my own property. Baby, don't you no. have nothing to talk to him about? She has epilepsy. You need to turn those lights off. She has a metal co okay. condition, okay. epilepsy. Stop You're going to put job. her into a seizure. Turn then do your job the right way. So from what I can gather, the woman who's filming here, uh, these are her kids in the car, and the guy is her boyfriend, and he's an avowed cop hater because he's dropping F-bombs left and right. I've taken out several so far. But in the long run, being a cop hater is not going to work to your advantage, as we shall see shortly. Now, there's a lot of dead air in here. I'm going to try to edit most of it out. Please bear with me. You're putting her at risk. She has a seizure and dies. So we're recording you. Okay. I'm telling and we're telling you she has a medical condition. So you would rather her get to the point. Turn your lights off. Do you know? Oh, so her health doesn't matter? What's your name and badge number? Name badge number. Hear you out. You don't have to say it. You guys don't have to do anything. What's your name and badge number? Get it later. Oh, so you don't identify? You're one of those tyrants, huh? Now this Yahoo behind the camera is a fan of Josh Abrams. Matter of fact, he emailed Josh Abrams this video we're watching. And he complained loud and hard. Yeah, he can tell he's been watching Josh's videos because he has all the lingo down. And look at his, oh, let's look at his YouTube channel. He's only got this video up plus another one. And he says what? Could use some help uh, holding these tyrants accountable for their actions. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you can afford to do any donations to help with legal fees, it would be greatly appreciated. He's got that frauded or blood in him already. Jesus. Earn the hate. <laughs> hey, shy. What, what are you guys, what's what's the deal? What are you being pulled over for? I was not speeding, wasn't doing any of that. I'm just driving, and I think I'm going to ask that you have to tell me. Like, what's your reason? What, what's the reason for pulling them over? What crime do you think they committed? I don't have to discuss that with you, sir. All right. Hey, what crime did he say he you guys committed? So, 
You had your bright lights on and now he's here to search your car? Road pirate right here. Hey guys, Don't it's gonna be YouTube pirates. famous tomorrow. All right, so the driver had her bright lights on. It's not a major problem. Just show the officer what he's asking for, right? Oh, it must be a problem though. She doesn't have insurance or registration or a driver's license. I don't know because I didn't hear. But there must be some problem or else the officer would have left by now. Oh dearie me, whatever could be wrong. He has no right to search your car because you had headlights. You can tell him no. How's it going, sir? Name, badge number, please. Thank you. So, I can smell the odor of marijuana, so I'm going to search out the car. Okay. So, um, since you're the driver, I'll have you step out real quick. We'll do a quick search. You just don't be digging in your car or anything like that, okay? And then... Shy, don't say anything. You got to get out if he asks you to, but you don't have to speak to him. You're a passenger. Not only has this Yahoo been watching Josh Abrams videos, but now he's also a YouTube law expert telling the passenger he doesn't have to get out of the car. And the best thing to do with the police is just cooperate if you have nothing to hide. But did you hear what the officer said? He smells the odor of wacky tobacco. Oh, that's a classic one, isn't it? Now, if they pulled my car over and said that, I'd say, man, you're crazy. But at the same time, I'd still cooperate and get out of the car. No, you don't. No, you don't. Shy, you do not. You're a passenger. You know I know the laws, Shy. Been studying for Evan, years. Don't, don't. Give them anything. I haven't. I just gave them license, registration, insurance. All right, don't. Where you were, where you're going, nothing. None of that. Anything they ask you, they're trying to get you in trouble. Why do you got to put her in the car? You pulled them over for their brights, and now you smell marijuana? You already are. There are bright lights. Can you stop talking to me? No! Talk Quit giving me unlawful you orders. You have no jurisdiction over me. Did I commit a crime? Am I detained for standing on my own property? No. You're not my boss. This idiot certainly has a frauditor mentality. He'd be good at frauditing, wouldn't he? Well, maybe he won't be. I don't know. Because his girlfriend's going to take a ride with the police in just a minute. Oops, I let the cat out of the bag, so sorry. I'm telling both of you though, you will not leave the grass area. You can't tell me where I can go. My house. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you obstruct my investigation by coming any farther than where the grass is, you will go to jail for obstruction. That is your last and final warning, both of you. Yeah. Record me, that's perfect. I am, you're recording yourself. I'm telling you that, this is your final warning. If you guys step foot off of your grass onto your driver or the sidewalk. So you're telling me if I step anywhere other than where you want to, we're going to jail? All right, sir. Can, can, okay, you seem like, you gave me your name and badge number, he refuses to. Um, what's going on? Why is he trying to tell me where I can and can't be on our property? Uh, it's not necessarily about where you can and can't be on your property. Yeah. It's whether or not you're, you're interfering with the police, uh, official police investigation. Well, he pulled him over for bright lights, so I get yeah, that, you know. Right. Okay, and, and they're he, family members. We told him that she has epilepsy. He said he doesn't care. He'll call an ambulance if she gets in trouble. Right. It's all in how you raise your children, man. If you raise your children to be jack wagons, then you got a problem. Why don't you tell your daughter not to drive around with her bright lights on? It's pretty easy to tell if you got your bright lights on. There's this big notice on the dashboard that your bright lights are on. What? I don't know what to tell you, Frauditor. Live and learn. That's what we all have to do. Live and learn. That right there? Right. And I'm, I'm not really... This is my child coming home. Okay, nope. You, they can go around. Yeah. 
If you step on the driveway, you're going to jail because that's interfering with my investigation. You're, I've already told you. You're going to lose your, 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 your job if you try arresting one of us. That's your final warning. If you step on the driveway, you're going to jail. That was fucking Take tyrant. Her. Nope, she's going. No. She's going to jail. You are under arrest. And you're going to lose your job. Are you kidding me right now? You see this? They're arresting her. She's on her own property. She stepped on the driveway. Because this guy got his feelings hurt. Hey, wannabe frauditor, why don't you tell the cops how they're going to lose their qualified immunity in a court of law? Tell them how you're going to file a federal lawsuit. Go on, frauditor. You watch enough of Josh's videos. Go ahead, tell him. Tell him. Probably got picked on in school. All right, you guys, do you want to be included in the lawsuit with this guy? You can let her go? Or are you actually going to go with an arrest for walking on her own property? You got her? Yep, I got her. So, like I was trying to explain. Listen, right. man, I, I know the laws. I know the Constitution. You want to read the back of my shirt? I know all this. Like, I've seen this happen a hundred million times. I've been, like... I know that right there, that's a lawsuit. It's gonna to go to a lawsuit. I know you guys have qualified immunity, so you don't care. We actually don't on a lot of things. Well, this right here, if, if you're gonna comply, take her to jail for walking on her property? I mean, what crime did she commit? Like I was trying to explain to you before. Okay. Um, it's obstructing? So inter interfering. Interfering. So we're standing on our own property. Look, yahoos, it doesn't matter if you're standing on your own property. The cop told you not to step onto the driveway, and you did. So you have to pay the consequences. Now, you want to file a federal lawsuit? Well, I tell you, man, it's going to take $405 to get it filed, and then the attorney fee is going to be at least five grand. It's not cheap to go to federal court, man. Here's the deal. Your guys' actions have very clearly taken this officer's attention away from his traffic stop where there is a danger, right? In every there wasn't stop. any danger. Well, and he's on my property. There, there is a, uh, a long-standing standard that there essentially could be danger, right? And we don't know until we... we so you guys are there. scared of everything, basically. No. That's not Shoot first, ask questions later. I've seen so it a million times. When we're doing a traffic stop in order to per per make sure everybody's safe, and everything ends safely like we want it to, right? We have to be able to- Okay, if you're worried about safety, I feel call an ambulance when she has a seizure. We said she has epilepsy. Why well, ain't worried about that? I don't, I don't know what happened. Okay, here. that you don't know. He right. knows. He's the one who told you to arrest her and you listened to him. So right. that puts you on the lawsuit too. Okay, but we're just trying to get through this traffic stop. Okay, so she needs can. to be taken out of the back of there. That's not my call. So you're you're not a police officer. He's the, he's the one who's making the. Decision. He made the stop with her. Right. Nothing to do with her. Right. And he's See how quickly this escalated, and that's escalate. There's no you in there. Escalate. There's no you. Escalate. Yeah. Uh, all these uh, driver and the passenger. All they had to do was get out of the car, cooperate with the police. They probably would have just got a warning, and they're on their way. No. They got to stand there and listen to mommy and daddy or whoever they are. And uh, that's why everybody's in handcuffs. That's a nice, nice thing. That's a lovely family, isn't it? Yeah. A dysfunctional family for sure. This is the one who's developed the probable cause to place her under arrest. Nothing, Nothing to do. Hey, that's... What are you doing? It's her property. Is she your wife or girlfriend? Or girlfriend. Okay. So... Generally, we wouldn't leave it with you if she says okay, we can. Okay, we live together. Right. If she says we can, then, then we can. Can you guys get a supervisor down here? That is a supervisor. He's the supervisor? Are you kidding me? He's a passenger. You pulled him over a driver. So, I don't. did he articulate to you that he smelled weed in the vehicle? He said he smelled weed. Okay, he I pulled him smell, over for the lights. I can smell weed from the vehicle. Okay, when but... I, when I got... I'm sorry, I don't know who the front... The, the passenger has nothing to do with it. You got but the driver in the if back. There's, if there's a legal substance in there... She is still detained because we have to determine whether or not the weed that we smell belongs to her or the driver. So yeah, traveling around town with wacky tobacco is the same thing as driving around town with an open container of alcohol. Never do it, people. You shouldn't do it. Even though it's legal, just like alcohol is legal, you don't drive around with a six-pack of beer and drink it, do you? Yeah, yeah. you got to teach your kids better, man. 
There's consequences for every action in the world. And the sooner people learn that, the better off they'll be. But for now, whole family's going to jail. What does her being in the back of a cop car because she stepped on a piece of concrete that she owns? Like I said, that's... Can you honestly look at me man to man and tell me that she deserves to go to jail because she stepped on a piece of concrete very, where you're standing? Very clearly walking towards the traffic stop. No, she was not. She went, stood right behind the car. She was taking the attention of the officer who was trying to conduct the traffic stop. Safely, he can look at them and do whatever he wants. He, no, nothing, us standing here? What, is there a law that says how close we can be? I mean, I don't know about you, but... No it seems law, like he'd be okay. There's not a law that specifically says that. You got bulletproof vests, you got guns, however many are here, and you're scared of a woman standing on her driveway? With all the unhinged people in the world today, Frater, do you have to ask that question? And look what just happened in North Carolina very, very recently. Yeah, the demise of four officers. One of them, man, was a federal, uh, a marshal. I mean, you have to ask that question, huh, Frauditor? Well, that just proves how stupid you are. Yeah, it really does. Isn't there tornadoes going on, people who need help? And you guys are here for... Oh, so no tornadoes hit Omaha and there's no houses destroyed, nobody... Okay. You're a public servant. You work for me, you work for the public. Right, for the citizens of Bellevue. Yeah. We can't go outside of Bellevue and do those type of things. Oh, so you can't be a human being and help other human beings because you're you're too too busy, too busy from yeah, stepping on somebody's rights. You're paid by me to be here, and you're arresting my girlfriend because his feelings got hurt. And you know, you just back the blue, right? Blue line. You probably got a blue line somewhere. Well, that's enough of that nonsense, good people. He uploaded two videos. I think it was a total of about 34 minutes. Yeah, you get the gist. He's just going to stand there and whine and cry and complain. And now I wrote to Josh Abrams for help. And Josh will probably help him. A lot of people are writing to Josh lately since Chili's in jail. Maybe Josh Abrams will become the new Chili. Ooh, banish the thought. Well, hey, while we're all here having fun, let's reach into Dr. Dave's archives. That's right, my archives, and get a Dr. Dave double play. Let's find another idiot for your enjoyment. Roll that clip. Miami-Dade School Police Facility. Here with Rago Monkey. Jay Surreal. Have mass accountability. Yo, yo. Make sure you guys check them out. We're here to retrieve property. Hey, how's it going, guys? How's everything? Fine, you? I'm doing alright. I'm looking for the evidence, lady. Remember, you told me to come on the third? So I'm here to pick up my. Thank you. And I'm here to pick up those records. Remember, I did the records request? It has been processed, sir. Thank you. It has been processed. Give me a moment, please. Hi, what's your name? I'm sorry, just so we know who we spoke with. I can't hear you. Give me uh, a moment. I just said, what's your name so we know who we spoke with? I'll be right with you, sir. That's your name? Well, what's with the attitude? I'm, I'm just no, a little lost. I you just me. asked you your name. That takes right two right seconds. Okay. Look, my name's Jay. You saw how fast I was? You notice how quickly the frauditors become triggered when they don't get a name? Attitude is everything, my man. And I tell you what. You don't have a good one, but that's okay. Let's continue. Moments later. But you told me she's hey, gonna be here Sergeant, tomorrow, right? Sorry. She'll be here tomorrow. Be hey, Sarge. Okay. Sorry, my first name's Jay, man. I'll be back um, tomorrow. I was, I was asking no, her, her name. Can you write down she didn't want to give me her name. She was like kind of giving me an attitude. I told her my first name's James Jay. James Darby, ID. And um, you know, I don't understand what's the attitude. You know what I mean? I asked her for her her name too. Yeah, yeah, but let me ask you something. You still haven't... Oh, here, um, your first name you're the records clerk, correct? Records request. Okay, I'd like to do a records request. Absolutely. Well, I'm just going to verbalize it. No, you got to write it. No, 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 it. no. Yeah. under Florida Statute 119, I can verbalize it. it I do not have to write it. This is first rodeo. I wonder if our frauditor friend here has been talking to Goat Boy. Because according to Goat Boy, he can write his FOIA request on a napkin if he wants to and give it to the maintenance man. That's what he says. 
you know, the only reason that you would write it down is so you could be clear about what you wanted. There would be no confusion, except these frauditors always want to push the envelope in the wrong direction, of course. You know, and, and still, this you haven't given me her name. first name and her first name. This ain't, this ain't my first name. No, I, I am not. You are cool. You gave me, you gave me no, your name. I appreciate that. that. I we really do. I sincerely do. As long as y'all do what y'all supposed to be doing. It's a really I'm simple public record like request. You're not to write it down. I gave my first name, Darby. I gave my first name, and still, I don't even know who she is, and I don't know who she is. You know, you guys, what's so hard about just giving your first name? You know? I just don't get it. I don't understand it. What is it to me? Uh, I just I'm going to do a public record request. You know? uh, I just need your name you and employee ID. You don't have a job? I have a job. And, uh, so you get paid online? Uh, no, I'm a, I, I have a different <laughs> job. I'm a tattoo artist, yeah. man. I don't have, I don't have, listen, I don't, I don't care to answer this. There's certain uh, questions that I answer, there's certain questions that I don't answer. My name and my employee ID. Okay. That's public like record. Public public record. record. He needs to know what my name and my employee ID is. Yes, that's it's a, a public, public record. record. That's and, public and record. Your under. title and your duties. No, he'll get it through the public. Make it. Make a request on them. No, I, I can. You can so, verbalize it. We can. Perhaps the lad would have more luck if he had a FOIA audit team of goats. Yes, having a herd of goats storm the city hall would get immediate action. No doubt about it. Of course, the goats would probably be impounded and taken to the farm somewhere. Oh, dearie me, then you would have to start from scratch again. But you will figure out something, lad, not to worry. Literally, the, so, so to real, real, real quick, real quick, guys, real quick. Let me say something. Hey, let me so say something. you, no, no, no. You're you're gonna listen to me real quick because what you're doing. Right, yes, you are. You're a public servant. You, no, no, no. You're you're gonna listen to me real quick because what you're doing. Right, yes, you are. You're a public servant. You, no, no, no. You're you're gonna listen to me real quick because what you're doing. Right, yes, you are. You're a public servant. First of all. Secondly. Okay. Shh. You right now, you right now are actually guilty of a misdemeanor. So I want you to shut up and just listen to me for a second. I can tell you to shut up. You're a public servant. I have a right to redress my grievances, particularly by the First Amendment. You are delaying a public records request. She can real quick just give me her name and ID. What else you want? You are, you are unlawfully public delaying a public record request. You want her public record request, you want her name Florida like, statute 119.07, subsection 1. We're making it. You could get it in there. You got an email or something that we can send it to? No, right now. Yeah, it's called no, gofuckyourself at gmail.com, right and you right can give now. it to me now. We want their name right now. That's all. It's a public record request. It takes two seconds to identify. I don't know why frauditors always want to identify clerks. I think it's a power trip. It's a control thing. They're control freaks. They have a smart mouth and they think that they know everything. Well, if they know everything, then why can't they find a job in uh, some sector and become gainfully employed? Oh, that's right. They're not that smart, are they? Ah, let's watch and see what happens now. I'm lawfully redressing my grievances. Okay. What am I being trespassed for? Right. What am I being told to leave for? What am I being told to leave for? What am I being told to leave for? This one, next time, next this time, time, you just told me. I have a right. I have okay. a right to tell you to. Okay. All right. What's that? What? Why? Why? I didn't say that. So you're gonna try, you're gonna move everybody out of the building. Yes. 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 Cool. I got your name and ID. Are you going to arrest me if I don't? Yes, come, come, come. Under arrest? Under arrest? Come on, come are you going come to arrest me if I don't? Sir, can you please? Can you answer that? Are you going to arrest me if sir, I don't? Sir, can how, how do you not? How do you not know that my email address is not gofuckyourself at gmail.com? Okay, but listen, um, all of you guys need to leave Are you going right to arrest me if I don't? My email call, address. Can you call my staff for me? Yeah. My email address is gofuckyourself at gmail.com. No, Only dregs of society would act this way in public. Or anywhere for that matter. There's something wrong with the lads. They have no job. They have no future. They have no life. So what would you expect from them? They know no better. Hmm. We'll pray for them though. That's not that disorderly con. No, I have multiple email addresses. Are you sure about Darby. that? I'm going to tell you. Darby. No, you, you haven't done nothing. You're, 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 you haven't done nothing. Can you get me their names? Can I ask, can can I ask them? They're not going can to. They're going to They're gonna unlawfully delay a public record request in violation of Florida Statute 119.071. That's battery. That's battery. That's simple battery. You touch me again. No, it isn't. If you're touching me, I'm asking you to walk out. You're touching me. You're asking me. It's not a lawful order. 
Come on. All right, guys. You could have just really simply, she could have just given me her name and ID. I can, I can resist an unlawful arrest. She could have given me her name and ID. You can resist? Yeah, I can resist. Okay. If it's unlawful yep. arrest. City of Houston v. Hill. So where would you like us to go? Oh, Frauditor. Is that a trick question? Where would he like you to go? Well, this is a family video. Well, it was a family video. I don't think it is anymore, but just read the screen, Frauditor. You know where you can go. No, bring me top ass and, and, and um... Where would you like us to go? You told I, us just I, to exit I, out of the thing. I, I need you to come off the building, please. Sir. Off the building? So we can go over here to the parking lot? So you're ordering us. So there you have it, guys. So you give somebody your email address, and they tell you that it's disorderly conduct. All right, so I left the building. <laughs> So you're trying it, it, to but see the thing is, is you can no, easily no, no. fulfill. Y'all a, a, a group? No, no, no. Y'all a group? Y'all a group? I got a family at home. Are you sure? Darby, I'm on official business. I'm here to pick up property that yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, told yeah. me to come no, today. No, 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 no. Don't strike it up. Where are we supposed to go? Because you told us to leave the building. We've left the building. We've been within a thousand feet of this building. Guys, look at this. Thousand feet of this building. Your, your comment. For my, for me giving you my email address. For me giving you my email address. Me. I told you my email address. Don't Notice how the frauditors don't make any move to leave the property. Yep, left the building and now the officer says a thousand feet and they're still standing there. At this point, they're loitering. If you continue to stand there, then that could be trespassing and you could be subject to arrest. Well, perhaps that's what the lads want. Don't you touch me. You just went to touch me. I'll be back tomorrow, Darby, to pick up my property. And I'll be seeing you with an attorney for violating a public records request. Immediately after this incident, I reached out to an attorney who is reviewing the case. Well, there you have it, folks. He says he reached out to an attorney who's reviewing the case. Well, this attorney must work on the cheap. You know, I'm telling you, every attorney I ever talked to, they want a few thousand dollars for a retainer. Now, I don't know where these guys are finding these attorneys. Perhaps they're third-year law students and don't yet have their uh, license to practice law. Yeah, I don't know, but it doesn't matter to me. If you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Hmm, cheers to that. Listen, you have a bipolar problem. How you feel? You're bipolar. You You're having a bipolar episode. I'm gonna keep Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the like button. If you don't get out of the car, I'm going to remove you. And when I remove you, I'm going to put my hands on you in a manner that is much more aggressive than the conversation that we're having right now. You threaten me in my room like a little bitch. And if you want to take it to the street, we can do it. I'm going to give you my information. I'm going to cooperate with you guys okay, what's going on? because I don't want to go to jail because hey, you look dangerous. On? On? That is unnecessary. Do not touch either get, get of us. Get back and video this. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Okay. I feel threatened. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go ahead. Let's do it. Let's grab your stuff. Well, I want to make clear one more time. Okay. This is unconstitutional. This whole area is taxpayer funded. No, no. Let's go. So you can Let's see the officers are grabbing me. So I was cutting the grass with a pair of scissors, just tidying up the, instead of using a weed whacker, sometimes I use scissors because I'm really fast. Keep go your ahead. distance, bitch. You Keep your swing? distance. Then, then go ahead. Keep you your distance, me. bitch. You me and that's your ass. Keep your distance, you bitch. I will sue you. You can sue anybody you want, anytime you want. Okay. If, if, if they do, I will sue him first, because he's in charge. You're in charge, right? You're the guy in charge. You're the one who gets listed on the lawsuit. I've watched auditors for a long time. I watched Rogue Nation. I watched S San Joaquin. Um, all the big channels. And that's what made me pick up a camera, dude, was watching all them and then going out and seeing all this crazy stuff happening in my own state. Keep your distance, I'm a bitch. To you. I'm a step to you. Keep your Go distance or you'll fall. Don't yeah. step, don't step into my 16 yeah, inches. My 16 inches. Don't step into mine. My business. I'm standing here. Don't step into mine. Man, you're a Darren. Cry what? baby. Cry baby. What? Cry baby. Cry baby. Let me tell you what I'm not. I am not a First Amendment auditor. Keep your distance, bitch. You fell in the frog in the leap. You Keep your distance, frog, bitch. You fell in the leap. Keep your distance, what bitch. What you gonna do, bitch? 
You are, bitch. You're violating my First Amendment. And you are violating our policy for not filming in our facility. Would Thank you like you. to read the directions? Sir, the rules of the I would like you Sir, to read. Arrest him. He's, he's okay, I'm arresting. Okay, turn around to change my back. Okay, why did you pull in front of my house, stop, and look into my garage? You're doing my job, man. Your job is to stop in front of my house? Oh, I'll stay here all day. I'll stay here all day. Then go ahead. I'll stay here for three days. You're wasting my fuck time. You're wasting his. He ain't got all day. He's got all day. Two weeks ago, I got falsely arrested, and it hurt me very much. What have you seen me do? What have you seen me do as a crime? Okay, so go ahead and turn around. Uh, uh, don't go touch ahead. me. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. Turn around. You're not I, do not, I, 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 I do not agree to any searches. I do not agree. Holding your nuts doesn't mean nothing. That doesn't mean nothing. Do you even have anything down there? I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400 level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Oh, no I'm reason. Really, I'm really, I'm really unhappy. This time you did this to me. We're gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the line. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car, I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Take a swing. Take a swing. You go to jail? Go ahead, put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Salami hala hamdullah. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So, if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. You want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Why are you taking my picture? Sir, you hit me. I'm gonna do you hit me. Okay. Okay. You take my picture. I don't know you. I said I broke your shoulder. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. I have been putting in job applications, and it's. I, I don't know any job where you walk up to it, fill out the application, and they hire you right on the spot. She spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Right now she spit in my face. I got a camera. What this all was is a ploy to arrest me in front of Judge Pretty, who I've embarrassed and I currently have in front of the Oklahoma Supreme Court. If you have official business, let me know which office you wish no, to go to I and I will you escort know. you there. Otherwise, you are leaving the building. Listen, I come in with ill will. I'm not giving you ID. I don't care what you do. If you want to take me in right now, let's do it. Do you want to do it? $60 guys is what we're trying to raise so if you can help out contribute towards it feel free to donate guys I won't ever ask for money on this channel again you touch my phone you can't touch my phone okay you touch my phone why did you touch my phone she touched my property I'm allowed to be around your vehicles buddy Get used to it. This is the way it's gonna be. You understand? That's fine. Him putting you putting your hand up is a violation. Sir, you're obstructing my camera. Sir, you know where I get a rub and tug? You know where I get a rub and tug? You know a massage, rub and tug? Hey, what's up, guys? So we're here at the America's Best Value. Um, we're trying to get a room. I'm asking for help. Please, guys, I need y'all's help. And you can't solicit a trespass, bro. You just solicited a trespass. I asked her what she wanted. No, you can't say, do you want them trespassing? You can't use that line. She touched my phone. I got it on a video. I want to arrest her. I want to arrest her. I want you. You're going to go to jail now. Rub and tug. Anyone? Who want to get a rub and tug? Look at the cops coming in. Don't tell me they're coming to bother me. Huh? For what? 
Yeah. What am I getting arrested for? <laughs> <laughs> We're a little low on funds, guys. I just want to make a quick video. If there's any way you guys can help out, uh, we're trying to get a room. Uh, I'm gonna pay you too, okay? Right. We're done already. I got you in all videos. This is a public sidewalk. She touched me. She touched my phone, okay? This is an expensive phone. This is almost 1200 okay? <laughs> Mrs. Potato's breaking my balls, everyone. <laughs> She's straight up breaking my balls. I will never beg you for it. I won't beg nobody for nothing. Please don't touch me. Step sir, outside. Sir, sir, what are you doing? I, I what are you doing? Donate to the PayPal if you can help out. If you can't, I understand. A PayPal link below. So if any of you would like to send me some money to help me out, I could greatly use it, but I'm not begging you for it. So just leave. I live here. Once you're pulled over, and we request information, you need to supply that information to us, okay? You sure? Okay. Are you sure? Am I sure? Are, yeah, I'm asking you yes, if you're sure. sure. Ed, no, that's no. not how it goes. So if anybody wants to send about $10,000 over to my PayPal Cash App or Bitcoin, you know, there's the addresses right there. I'm not driving, I'm traveling. There's a difference. If you want to come at me at once, I'll take you both down. I don't answer Correct? questions. Yeah. I don't answer questions. All right, if you want to so play here, that way, I don't answer questions. Just step on my tripod, man. What's oh, wrong sorry. With you? David Basham, sir. Look how close he is to Johnson, me, guys. Johnson, four six. Look how close he is to me. Look at what this. I do not. No, sir, no out. searches or seizures. Okay. Oh, close my door. No, close sir. my door. Okay. You are right now. You are violating my rights. I'm also a constitutional law scholar. I'm a constitutional law scholar. I'm a constitutional law scholar. <laughs>